My work in the field began really at a very, very young age. I grew up in Philadelphia, the inner city of Philadelphia, and really was turned on by both medicine and also engineering, and decided at an early age I wanted to meld engineering and medicine. And I started to work in chemical engineering, I went to Princeton for chemical engineering, and at the same time, I went to medical school at Harvard, and continued doing my research and, at MIT and doing my PhD at MIT, and really started to bring these areas together. So I've started what many consider to be a new field, and this is the area called regenerative engineering. And it's defined as the convergence of what we now have in our toolbox to regenerate tissues that we really didn't have before. Areas of advanced material science and nanotechnology, areas of stem cell science, developmental biology and what we've learned from developmental biology, physics and physical forces and how they can influence regeneration. And also uniquely, we try to bring clinical translation or bring clinicians into the, to the mix to bring their expertise. We rely on a number of different technologies for regeneration. We have what I call an unsiloed approach. We use 3D printing. In 3D bioprinting, we're able to print not only materials, but we can actually print stem cells into the matrices. We can also print biological factors that actually can be actually placed in the area. We can perform 4D printing and place gradients of cells. If we're regenerating a complex tissue that has bone and nerve and blood vessels, we may want those different types of materials. And by programming the stem cells and biological factors in the 3D printing process, we can have them emerge and have their function emerge at different time points along the regeneration process. But we are really working very, very hard in terms of regenerative engineering to translate our findings directly to the patient. For instance, our work has inspired new bone matrices, new ways to regenerate bone. And we've inspired materials that are actually now on the market. At the same time, we have clinical trials taking place at our institute on new technologies, using stem cell science, using biological factors such as amnion. We know that we can't be happy and, and sit on our laurels. And so we've gone to the next level with our next generation of ACL in which we can now create systems that can very reliably make ACL matrices. The regeneration of tissues is, I think, at the heart of longevity. It's at the heart of being able to help wounded warriors. It's at the heart of being able to treat congenital defects. It's at the heart of everything we think about in terms of the improvement of the human condition. I have, as part of my motto, a Zimbabwe proverb. I tell my students, and that Zimbabwe proverb is, to stumble is not to fall, but to walk faster. We're trying to create solutions that will really help people in the long run. And that's what I'm dedicated to do, improve the human condition.